go up with the Eurozone crisis, the more our economy grows compared to other economies, our share of the budget goes up. It's going to end. So this, this is a significant amount of, amount of money. But being a democracy and being an independent state, this is the normal state of affairs in the world. Out of 195 countries, only 28 are in an experiment to, into ever closer union that's eventually going to, the idea is to go towards a, a single centralized state. No other grouping in the, in the world is, is doing this. We decided when we didn't decide to join the Euro not to be part of this project of ever closer union. If we stay in it, the rest will, will, will continue on this and we will remain a small sort of niggle in the European Union where the Euro, Eurozone, the politics and the dynamics of the Eurozone run it and, and they will by, by, uh, by default end up being a major influence on, on our laws and, and regulations. So being, being, an being an independent country, freely trading with our neighbours, cooperating on defence through NATO, other non-European, non-EU countries cooperate on EU defence matters. There's no reason why we wouldn't want to do that on the intergovernment. So we can cooperate on defence, we can cooperate on science, we can cooperate on a whole range of things as normal countries do with their neighbours. And going back to why it was set up in the first place, this was set up in the 1950s in the sort of horrors of the aftermath of the Second World War to consciously create a new sort of European, 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 sort of, a European sort of state and identity. This was not what we signed up to. We signed up to a free trade agreement. We've had treaty after treaty that has centralized it going in a direction that well, um, I at least um, would want to, wouldn't want to go in. And we've basically come to a decision point. We're not joining the euro. We're not going down the road to a sing single centralized state. The most logical solution at this point is to is to, is to leave the independent country have good relations to trade, export to the European Union, export around the world, have our own trade agreements, cooperate with defence, cooperate in the United Nations, cooperate against Russia, but at the end of the day, be, be, be sovereign, be able to set our own laws, set our own employment standards that may be higher than, uh, or they were different, or tailored, or, or have a migration policy where we let in who we want to let in based on skills and what fits the UK economy rather on rather than as an abstract um, open to 500 million and closed to the rest of the world. But I, I think the future is that it is the normal state of affairs to be to be outside the European Union. And I think this is there's been an awful lot of scaremongering going on about about sort of um, economic